Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Garmin sues UAVionics over patent infringement, FAA approves Robinson R66 cargo hook, and by Aerospace's Solar Electric, Strato AirNet completes first flight. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson, it's August 22nd, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Garmin has filed a patent infringement lawsuit against UAVionics, saying the smaller company has taken its ADSB technology without its permission. The patent in question is referred to as 301 patent. According to court documents, UAVionics and Garmin entered into talks related to drones. But the filing by Garmin alleges that UAVionics had taken its ADSB technology without permission. At the same time, Garmin has been accused of being an industry bully for years. It's up to the courts to decide whether Garmin is playing a grieved party or bully. A look through the lawsuit and the patent data reveals a lot of interesting questions about Garmin's actual patent and how they seem to be applying it. Garmin was awarded the 301 patent on January 24, 2012. According to Garmin, UAVionics uses its technology in the Echo UAT and Sky Beacon products. Garmin claims that the Sky Beacon infringes on at least Claim 6 of the 301 patent. Garmin is seeking a preliminary injunction in joining UAVionics and its associated parties from infringing the 301 patent, and a permanent injunction in joining UAVionics as well. Garmin also seeks a judgment for all damages suffered as a result of UAVionics' alleged infringement. After the break, Boeing 747 art car at Burning Man. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne on Man, the AMA Joan Report, our website or podcast, just email to news buy at aero news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The fuselage of a Boeing 747 arrived on the side of Burning Man in Nevada's Black Rock Desert, and getting the huge mobile art car to the playa required shutting down Nevada State Highway 447 and temporarily cutting power to parts of Girl Like Nevada to get it to the site. The Big Imagination Foundation is the group behind the project. The foundation said they were converting a Boeing 747 jumbo jet into the biggest art car in the history of Burning Man. The FAA has granted an STC to Hartzell Propeller for the installation of its carbon fiber composite two and three blade trailblazer replacement props on mall short takeoff and landing aircraft. Hartzell's 80-inch diameter top props can replace Hartzell and Macaulay propellers on the backcountry aircraft. Bush flying just gets better with the Hartzell Trailblazer pulling you out of a short backcountry strip. Both the two and three blade Trailblazers are significantly smoother and give them all a modern aggressive look on the ramp, said Hartzell Propeller President Joe Brown. The FAA has granted a site operator license to Colorado Air and Spaceport after a 180-day review period, the 11th such license granted in the United States. Colorado Air and Spaceport will serve as America's hub for commercial space transportation, research, and development. The spaceport will also provide a boost to the state's economy by keeping the nearly 200,000 jobs connected to the aerospace industry in Colorado as well as creating new employment opportunities. 
the Aerospace Museum of California's Aerospace Ambassadors, Sean D. Tucker, and the retired astronaut and current UC Davis professor of Aerospace Engineering, Dr. Steve Robinson, are honored to nominate Mr. Harrison Ford as a 2018 recipient of the Bob Hoover Dreams Take Flight Award. The award will be presented at the museum's Night Under the Stars Gala on September 15, 2018. This award recognizes and honors exceptional individuals who have made a significant contribution to the field of aviation and seek to inspire young people to pursue their aviation dreams. Well, that's it for today's show Brown the Patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. The FAA has approved Robinson Helicopters R66 cargo hook installation. The optional cargo hook carries external loads up to 1,200 pounds. And for external load operations, the R66 maximum gross weight increases from 2,700 to 2,900 pounds. The cargo hook installation includes an onboard systems hook right and left seat controls, a left seat hydraulic switch, and a left seat start button. A load weight gauge and a second set of engine power gauges are located in the left door seal, allowing the pilot to monitor engine operations while keeping an eye on the external load. Provisions for remote control of external equipment are also included. Robinson is now accepting orders for cargo hook installations on new R66 aircraft. The MSRP is $28,000. After these messages, by Aerospace's Solar Electric, Strato AirNet completes first flight. In collaboration with NASC, introducing Sonics Aerospace, bringing you the Taros Group 4 UAS, the redesigned Tiger Shark Block 4, and the Subsonics Twin Jet UAS, all derived from flight proven manned systems, not concepts, real aircraft. More at sonicsaerospace.com. Welcome back. By Aerospace completed the first flight of the Solar Electric Technology Demonstrator prototype for a Strato AirNet and solar electric survey aircraft families of medium-altitude aircraft systems. The piloted prototype first flight and subsequent flight test took place at Northern Colorado Regional Airport, north of Loveland. The solar electric survey aircraft and the Strato AirNet family of aircraft systems is intended to provide support for long-endurance, commercial, and government security requirements, including patrol, observation, utility, mapping, precision agriculture, search and rescue, and surveillance missions. The Solar Electric Survey aircraft system will be piloted, performing similar patrol and survey missions for shorter flight durations. It also provides R&D test platforms for new customer payloads. Strato AirNet is intended to be a longer endurance UAV and will follow required steps to qualify this additional capability. By Aerospace is collaborating with Solero integrating their advanced high-efficiency solar cell technologies on the advanced graphite composite wing. By Aerospace completed the first flight of its Sunflyer II aircraft in April. The Sunflyer family of aircraft aimed to be the first FAA-certified, U.S.-sponsored practical all-electric airplanes to serve the flight training and general aviation markets. The company is collaborating with Siemens on the electric propulsion system for Sunflyer II. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. We'll see you tomorrow.